Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. So it's on the other platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. to me. Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favour. 
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favour. How do I know you're good for your favours? You can bank my favours. Fuck. What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Oh, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Back here. Fuck! Hey, aren't you the guy from the car park? Listen, let me give you a ride. There's no more trains going from there anymore. South Kent, please, mate. Look, something's come up I need to take care of first. Oh, fucking hell. Look, I'm a fucking student, okay? I've got no money. My family's got no money. What am I to you? A problem, that's what. You know the guy broke into the garage, don't you? Maybe. I didn't see his face, okay? I can't identify anyone. But you can identify me. 
just relax. Who's the baggage? It's fucking mistake. What the hell happened in that garage? The carabiner failed. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Letting an eyewitness get away. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. Yeah, I have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice bowl? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. He needs to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. Let me... I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. You stay where you are. Look, you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. That still leaves lots of painful options. <sighs> Not good at maths, are you, mate? What's that supposed to mean? Minus one, plus one. I mean zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look, you need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. Just like I don't. I see your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. What about the money? Then push your luck. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off! Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done! Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. 
You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for £950,000, this marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... Just try to keep it powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the bowl there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Shit, yeah, he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we shall begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't On the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Thank Mate, you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a thank time. you, madam. Do you have eleven, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so because you know price. We have eleven five. Like logarithmic curve, derivative eleven approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid. Your bid. Eleven, madam. What eleven is five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, madam. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. 
I'm selling. 11.5 once, 11.5 twice, 12 million I have, thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5, it's your bid at 12, madam, looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? It's against you now, man. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12.5 once. 12.5 twice. So to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Thanks, mate. Take a movie. 
Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bulb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. You want to take a left? Some shortage high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we going to do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Get away from here. Where are we going? We're going to take this bolt to Woos to finish what you started. So Mr. Woos? Yeah, but well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Okay, you have to do something. 
Oh, look, come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four of me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four of me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You? Right here. A fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Tell me. No. Could I wire your gun you yet to my gong? A Sam. Go away. What's your business? Lozai, this is Chai Gao Wun. Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Managing to steal that bow. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. It's price. It's beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out!
What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordy, Tofoy! Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? <sighs> you fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against him and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. Believe Wu. They knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. <sighs> no, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it.
May, we got him killed by taking it there. Tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you, it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness. Tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, I'm sorry, what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please, you have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bomb? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself. You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At the Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on an effect called thermoluminescence. Thermoluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain was fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? You mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the burn after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? 
It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of the past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To Paz. He's going to regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating him up will solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry, you got involved. Well, what was I doing there anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no. Uh, no, Sebastian Leclerc, I'm afraid. Maybe they took him to Guy's. That was a lie. Excuse me? Just like you lied in the garage? About Dr. Brent knowing you were taking his keys? <sighs> Come on, Matt. Let's try the other desk. Wait. Shit. No? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. Thank you. What? I didn't tell you anything. So, um, who's the girl? Oh, I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Oh, you wish. <laughs>
They wanted me to use the internet. Oh my God. I know, you must be like 80, right? No, 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 I think I just worked out how Pa got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. Same rice bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. They have already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. But what about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Off where? The elevator. There is no footage from there. Ah, but that's when you switched it, though, isn't it? And the camera must have seen you, even if you had your back to it. And if people know the truth, be clear to see what you were doing, mate. What do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If... If I tell you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Wait, what? Okay. It's just you and me now, mate. Now, where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last time I'm going to ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. Hid it where? The cabinet. Pa's cabinet he bought in auction. There was a hidden compartment in it. There was a hidden compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? Is the ball still inside? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. Okay, you can take that off now. We have to go back to Hainsworth. How the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... Yeah. You're never here, right? Yes. You never heard about the hidden compartment. Go well soon. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Huh?
Ray, what the fuck happened? We have her. You find her, Paul. Bring her to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring you to the lobby of our hotel by nine tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <clears throat> Long flight. How can I help you? I'm here to pick up an item. What lot was it? Uh, it was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Parr. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your documentation? I was told my copy would be waiting at this desk. I can't do anything without the lot numbers. Would you like to speak to someone upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be best. OK, if you take the elevator to the second floor, Mr Quinn is in room 13. I'm sure he'll be able to sort this out for you. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, sir. Cancel this card. Doors closing. What do you think you're doing? Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Yes, please. How the hell am I going to find Van 7 from out here?
fucking money. I could just walk away with this. Hello? It's me. Mate. I don't have much time. Have you got the ball? Yeah. With the back of eight to a fan, I've got it in my hand. Don't bring it here. What are you talking about? They're going to fucking kill you. Why can't you do that anyway? We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part admit. So soon. So soon, huh? Mei Zhong, go Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Now's my chance. No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. the chief psycho. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Pa. Oh, Mr. Pa does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And I want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't? Mr. Parr? Uh, thank you, well, I... I'll deal with this. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? The bomb that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Audrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? This is... The copy. Don't think it'd be so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognise her own work when she sees it. You paid her to do it. So she won't mind me destroying it? Even with the choice still on the rampage? You think I'm worried about that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's find out. That would be unwise, wouldn't it? Not with the choice on the rampage. Mm. Smart move. Now, where is my original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Mr. Pa? Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. How much? Half the selling price. 6.25 million? <sighs> I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch! Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> he's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. This is 
the bowl that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Now just, just wait. Baby, help me, please. What's he going to do with it? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. What were the chances? What were the chances? That's what I say.